I've spoken before about taking the pension early if you want to continue working beyond 60 and how that's of a massive benefit because you get your whole pension and your wage and there is nothing abated. Abatement is a rather old fashioned feature of the pension scheme where the government will not pay you your pension if you are working and you're earning enough to support yourself. They base this on how much you were earning before you took your pension. And they'll only pay you up to that maximum amount and it's called abatement. Now you can get around that by taking your pension before you reach 60, before you reach your normal pension age. But if you've missed that boat, if you're over 60 and you're still working, this should be of interest to you because it came as a bit of a shock to me to realize you can get around the abatement issue, end up working less and being paid more at the same time. And it's part of the phased retirement scheme. So let me just go into the details of what that means. Once you reach your normal pension age, so 60 for the oldest teacher's pension scheme, you can claim your pension even if you continue to work. But there's a limit on how much you can be paid. It can be a little bit more complex than this, but it boils down to not being allowed to receive more than your previous highest wage. And this can mean, if your highest wage is the one you had just before claiming the pension, that you'll get nothing from the pension. You get the lump sum and you can put that away, um, but you get nothing on an annual basis. Now I've spoken before about taking this, um, and that's not what we're looking at today. This is for those teachers who missed that opportunity and, how, and who are now over 60. What you over 60s have the opportunity to do is to increase your overall income, is to take phased retirement. These benefits are not subject to the abatement rules. The problem with this though, is that in order to take phased retirement, you must drop your salary by 20% or more, and that can have consequences for the remainder of your pension. So before putting any of this into action, do check the numbers very carefully and see if they work for you. Now in this worked example, I'm going to look at a teacher who is currently on a full-time salary of about 40,000. I'm going to say that they've completed 30 years of service by September in 2021, which means they'll have still seven months available to add to their pension before the final salary scheme ends in April 22. The full pension built up will be 30 80th of 40,000, which is going to be 15,000 pounds. To take phased retirement, you need a drop of 20% in your salary. You know, going to four days a week could do this. So 80% of that wage would be 32,000. Now, in phased retirement, you can take 75% of your pension. So that's a pension of 11,250 pounds. The remaining 25% will stay in the scheme and carry on adding to it until you take it when you finally do decide to retire. Put that wage and pension together and you'll be getting £3,250 more than you were and you could be working four days a week instead of five. So you're going to be working less and getting paid more. Now a word of warning, I mean you could take a 20% pay cut and get the same effect. Bizarrely you can go to your boss and say I want to be paid 20% less and they agree because who's going to turn that down and you're going to end up over £3,000 better off. It's bonkers, but the way it works. Let's go. Now, word of warning. If you take a 20% pay cut without reducing your hours, it could affect that remaining 25% of your pension because it's worked out later when you take it on your final salary. And if your final salary is 20% less, then obviously the pension that it comes with is going to be less. But it can be protected. Um, remember, we've got that final salary calculation that uses the best three years out of the last 10. Um, so long as you do your calculations carefully and work out where your best three years will be, there's a good chance it won't. You could take a 20% pay cut, work for five years, and it may be, check it, it may be not going to affect the rest of your pension. Um, so the next question is, do you lose out or not by waiting to take your pension? Well, because the final salary uses the final salary, it means that realistically, the only way to end up worse off is if you were to get a sudden pay increase. In that case, you've had 75% of your pension based on a lower salary. Click. However, 
any such pay rise would have to exceed inflation because your pension is increased by inflation as well. So just going up by inflation pay scales isn't going to mean you're worse off. It, it's just going to stay the same. Um, indeed, if you have a pay freeze, take, taking the pension early could mean that you'd be better off. Otherwise, let's consider the example on the previous slide. When you take 75% in phase benefits, they use up 75% of the years. That means you've used up 22 and a half years. That still leaves you with seven and a half years to use later. So that gives you the 11,250 pounds of your pension. The other 25% will come later. And so long as your final salary hasn't changed, you get the remainder of that 15,000. So nothing is lost. Being over 60 means there are no age reduction based on your age. And this is one of the key elements to this. Leaving your pension till later doesn't get you any enhancements. You don't get anything extra just because you didn't take it at 60. Unlike if you took it at 59, they cut you four or five percent. They don't give you extra if you leave it later. So why leave it later? The only reason is if you think you're gonna get a sudden big pay increase. If that 40,000 were suddenly to jump to a much higher figure. So in summary, this idea is aimed at those who are already over 60, those who are still teaching or gonna carry on teaching for some time yet, those who realize that they could drop 20% quite happily, they could go to four days a week, drop 20%, or voluntarily take that 20% pay cut, negotiate with the boss and see what he's doing. Bear in mind, it's only going to be 20% pay cut for a year. So if you're intending to teach much longer, you could go to the boss and say, can I have a 20% pay cut this year and then we'll put it up again next year? Absolutely fine. Your 20% only got to last one year. Key element, there's no abatement. The abatement rules don't apply to the phased pension values. If you took your whole pension, then you're gonna be abated. Um, but do check the numbers, particularly if you think there's gonna be a pay rise in your near future.